All right, welcome back to WMAC Now with your host Chuck Stevenson coming at you with a fight review. For this one, we're going to the famous Karakuen Hall in Tokyo, Japan for Shudo Volume, or excuse me, 2024 Volume 7. We're going to the atom weight division with this one. Noel Narita coming in at 1 0, taking on Sayon Park coming in at 3 4. Now, this is part of Shudo's annual. Uh, what do they call it? Infinity League Round Robin Tournament. Now, sometimes they change up the divisions, but they have this um, tournament every year, and every fighter faces every other fighter in the tournament at least once in a round robin format. And this was the second round of it. Both fighters were coming in off of wins in the opening round. Uh, so let's get into it. So first round, uh, both came out swinging. Uh, Noel caught a kick to a takedown attempt, Park managed to uh, back up to the wall and fought out of it. Uh, some more punching exchanges, and Park seemed to take the lead with the striking while Noel countered. Um, there was a jumping punch from Noel that was countered by Park, and Noel caught a kick for a double leg takedown. Uh, from there, Park managed to crawl to the wall and worked her way back to her feet. From there, Park landed a really nice high kick, but again, Noel caught the kick, took her down. Uh, Park threw up an arm bar attempt. Uh, Noel managed to get out of it, but Park, in the scramble, managed to take Noel down. And Noel locked, closed up her guard, uh, locked up the body triangle from the bottom as Park tried to throw some short punches. So then started the second round, uh, both fighters, you know, it was a little bit of the repeat of the first in that they had trouble finding their range at first. Uh, they weren't throwing, like they didn't come out swinging like in the first round, but like in the first round, they had a little bit of trouble finding their range to start off. Uh, Park switched to southpaw, landed a nice one-two, then she went back to orthodox, uh, then she switched again. Landed a 1-2 to a double leg against the fence. Now, Noelle kept her guard closed again and just, you know, held on to Park's head and hold her down, seeming to basically to lock her up. Um, now, Noelle did open up the guard for an armbar attempt, but then when she couldn't get it, she went straight back to close guard. Um, some elbows landed from bottom by Noelle, but the referee decided they're not, neither fighter's doing enough right now. He stood them back up. Uh, from there, Park dove for a takedown, really not set up very good, uh, and it got stuffed by Noel, who landed in Park's half guard. Uh, from there, Park managed to get back to full guard. Noel kind of stood over her to try to wanted to strike, but uh, Park foot managed to fight to her feet. And then from once from the clinch, she landed a knee and a punch, and then they broke apart. Uh, Park shot and landed a nice double leg takedown, landed her in Noel's guard. Um, Noel tried for an arm bar from bottom this time, while well, Park landed punches and the fight ended with Park, I believe in Noel's either full or half guard. So it went to the judges and both judge, or excuse me, all three judges gave it to Park via unanimous decision, 20 to 18. Uh, just a reminder, if you're wondering why it's not three rounds, most fights in Japan, even at the pro level, are only two rounds because, you know, most of the fighters in JMMA are semi-pro at best. I mean, they all, almost all of them have regular jobs. Um, so let's go to my notes here. So this fight, like I mentioned, this fight was in the second round of the Infinity League Round Robin Tournament. Uh, Park right now is the only fighter to have won both of her fights, making her basically a lock to win. I mean, I think like they do score how you win your fights, and Park won by both fights by decision. But even with that said, I, I think she's already a lock just because she's won two out of her three fights so far. Um, now, Noel. Keeping her guard closed on bottom definitely hurt her. I mean, I was reading through them like, man, she was working from a closed guard even more than I remembered. Um, so that hurt her, whereas Park, when Park was on bottom, 
she was always fighting to get back to her feet. So I'm going to talk more on that in a second here. Now watching the fight, both fighters need to work on their stand-up. Um, both fighters are still young. I mean, Park's the more experienced fighter, but she's only, I think, uh, 19 years old. Oh, sorry, she's 21 years old, so still pretty young. And uh, Noelle is in high school. She's like 16. They start them young <laughs> in fighting in uh, Northeast Asia. Um, so, yeah, both still need work on stand-up. Now, Park had some success when she switched her stances, which she, I think both of those times were in the second round. Yeah, both were in the second round. But she's not advanced enough to be doing that too often. Um, like, stance switching is really more of an advanced fighter thing. Uh, she improved to 4-4 four and four with this. You can get away with that against like lower level or uh, novice fighters. She's not going to be able to do that against uh, some better fighters. At least not at this point in her career. Now, Park said, um, when I... I uh, was reading an article about the weigh-ins. It was kind of funny because the Infinity League is sponsored by this Sea Crystals Epsom salts. And uh, Bart said she wanted to win so that she could get more Epsom salts because she likes using them. And uh, she seemed really happy to get more. She like held the bag aloft and even kissed it. So nice to see someone uh, appreciate something as simple as a bag of Epsom salts. Uh, now, both fighters have their next fight waiting for them. It's just a matter of when. Because there's only... Usually, the Infinity League has five fighters. This year, it's only four of them. They're all, you know, novice, lower-level fighters. And so, after two rounds, each one only has one other fighter to face. So, they already know who they're going to fight next. It's just a matter of when Shudo makes the announcement. Now, let's talk things to work on for Sa Young Park. She needs to set up her kicks with her punches. Uh, she threw some naked kicks, and her kicks kept getting caught. Now, if she set them up, hid them behind her punches, you know, threw like a one-two or a couple jabs and then a kick, maybe Noelle wouldn't have, you know, been able to react so quickly. Uh, for Noel, you can't stay in closed guard. Uh, you got to open it up and work. Closed guard accomplishes nothing but stalling the fight. You got to open up your guard so you can work for scrambles, work to get to your feet, uh, work for reversals, work for submissions. You can't really do anything from on bottom with your guard closed. So just She's got to learn to open up and work. And again, it's her second pro fight, so I'm not going to go hard on her on that. And she's a kid. Now, for fights to make, like I said, they already know who they're fighting. For Noelle, she is coming. She is about to face Ayana Hirata, who Park already beat via decision, but Hirata is coming off of a 33-second KO of Mikiko Hayama. So that's going to be a very anticipated fight because you have... Noel representing AACC and Harata representing Burst. Burst is Megumi Fujii's gym. And Fujii, you know, before she got married, trained primarily out of AACC. So you got that coming. For Park, she's going to face Miki Kohayama. Now, this should be an absolute gimme. Miki Kohayama might be the most dedicated fighter I've ever seen. She is 0-15 right now. Um... She's also 45 years old. So 0-15 at 45 years old, you, you absolutely have to love this sport. Either that or you just really need cheap paydays. I don't know. But I'm not going to... Hey, credit to her. She must be doing what she loves. Should be an easy layup for Park. We shall see. Anyway, those are my thoughts on this fight. Sion Park, evening up her record, defeating Noel Narita via unanimous decision. Um, if, you if you're able to see the fight, which you need to go do it on a BEMA TV, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you like the vid, hit the thumbs up button while you're at it. Go ahead and subscribe to WMAC Now, the best 
most complete women's mixed martial arts dedicated platform on YouTube. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.